Hey y'all, this is Sabas in the house and welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about surgical nursing, medicine, and life in between. My name is Francis, I'm a registered nurse, an acute care NP student, as well as a first assist student. In today's video, we're going to shift gears a little bit away from surgical nursing and more about my experience in enrolling in an accelerated program. So this video is probably best for people who are looking to change careers, um, specifically looking into nursing, and especially uh, best for people maybe who are looking for something a little more non-traditional and want to get their RN degree within a year um, at a much faster rate. And so this video is going to talk about my experience with this program. The program that I enrolled in is actually an RN to an MS to a DNP program. So I get my RN degree, my Master of Science in Nursing, as well as my doctorate as a nurse practitioner. And this is at UMass Medical School in Massachusetts, and my specialty track is Adult Gerontology Acute Care NP. So I'm gonna talk specifically about the RN portion of my accelerator program. And I'm gonna talk about you know, who is this best for and things that I wish I would have known prior to entering a program like this. So what type of students are these programs best for? So a little quick thing about one year RN programs, they are extremely fast. So it's like squeezing four years of course study into one year. Yeah, that's, that's pretty intense, right? So it's actually great for students, again, who want to get their nursing degree within a year. Uh, and it's great for people who are especially changing careers because, you know, you don't have that much time. You may have a family, you may have, you know, maybe a little bit older than most of the students, you may be more non-traditional, and that's okay. And th these programs are actually perfect for that. Um, Learning-wise, it's great for students who kind of already figured out their stru study strategies. Um, because during a one-year accelerated RN program, there's really not much time to figure out your study strategies. You're just like bam, 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 and then there you go. And then you graduate, and then you're actually, right after you graduate, you're actually pressed to take your NCLEX within a few months and pass those board exams, and then bam, you're in the workforce. So. With that being said, I know it's intense, so I'm gonna talk about specifically things that I wish I would have known before I enrolled. Thankfully, I successfully completed the program, and now I'm in the NP portion of my program, um, but I wanna give you guys some tips, um, for, especially for those who are looking to enroll in these types of programs. And let's get right to it. So the first one is, um, you know, your program's gonna ask you to buy textbooks and read textbooks. All I'm going to tell you, do not read your textbooks, for at least for all of your courses. What I suggest is pick one to two courses that really require, that you think require the textbooks the most. Uh, and if you do need those, you know, if you figure out what those classes are, split it up. Split up the reading with your, uh, with your friends, with people in your study group, and create study guides so it's simpler to, to kind of understand the material and be able to review it later. Again, I always take this advice to heart. Do not work harder, work smarter. Um, the next one that I want to bring up is utilize study aids, such as online flashcard systems like Anki or Quizlet. And if you don't know what either of those programs, I'm going to insert links below um, in, the, um, in the description box so you can you know pick which one works for you. Anki is a little more complicated, but I actually love Anki and I can create a whole video in terms of how to use the Anki flashcard system. And then Quizlet is really simple, it's online. Um, and I like those study programs because it forces you to rely on memory. And if you're not a fan of flashcards, try to make study guides or outlines. And if you can find um, old study guides or outlines from previous cohorts, do that. Make your life easier than it needs to be because your life is going to be hell. <laughs> I actually use, not only did I use online flashcards, I actually have two whiteboards and it's actually up here right now. And I utilize those the whiteboards because I rely on spatial memory as well to remember things. So I, you know, pretty much most of my whiteboard was filled out. And then the next point that I want to make is make friends with people in your class. Don't be a hermit. It's virtually impossible to do everything by yourself, especially in a crazy accelerator program like a one-year program. There's simply too many tasks to do. Find, find study buddies, form little study groups, but don't make the study groups into a hangout. 
You can always do that with the first five to 10 minutes, but ultimately you're there to get shit done. So the next point that I wanna bring up is make sure the program that you choose assigns your clinical rotations for you. Um, one of the worst things that you have to worry about during an accelerated program is finding your own clinical rotations. And trust me, I know what that's like. Not that my program didn't find clinical rotations, but I had to find my own preceptorship for my first assist program. And that was itself a crazy, crazy difficult journey. Um, so thankfully my program assigned all my clinical rotations to, during my program and I didn't have to worry about that and that was one less major thing I had to worry about. The next thing I want to bring up is sometimes expectations from faculty of programs like accelerated programs become way too unrealistic in terms of um, you know the tasks, the homework, the projects that need to be done. So don't be afraid to be your advocate for yourself and for your classmates. Utilize your student reps if you have such things. Make your voices known to faculty that sometimes there are just things that can't be done. There's simply no time. Because at the end of the day, we're all human and um, there's only so much that we can humanely do. So the next point that I wanna bring up as well is pick two to three mentors from the faculty that you think you vibe with. Um, someone, that, someone that you think cares about your progress throughout the year. Uh, because ultimately, they can in turn write your letters of recommendation for when you're applying to the workforce and even when you're pursuing other interests later in your academic journey. Um, I thought that was really key when I, you know, when I did that because then ultimately they just wrote the letter of recommendation without any hesitancy and actually got one of the best letters of recommendation from the faculty members. So uh, make sure you do that. Uh, and then lastly, if you're specifically doing an accelerated RN to NP program, make sure you know by heart which specialty you're going to be specializing in. Uh, because the process of switching specialties in during this program is extremely difficult. And, and I know that based on personal experience because I switched from a family nurse practitioner track to acute care. And that was a whole thing that I had to interview for. Um, it was a whole complicated process and you don't wanna have to do that. And oftentimes it's actually not guaranteed. Do I regret applying and enrolling in an accelerated R program? Absolutely not. Because I got to finish the R part extremely fast and then immediately enter the workforce upon you know passing my boards. But that's also because personally, I know my study strategies myself, hey Presley, and I'm con I was confident in my study skills and that I would succeed in the program. Again, it's not for everyone and that's completely okay because everyone can become a nurse in their own way. It just depends on your personal preference. And again, I'll make a whole video in terms of how I look for programs, which resources I use to kind of keep track of the um, schools that I applied for and all that stuff. So watch out for a future video on that. So now I actually wanna switch up things a little bit. Uh, I wanna end my videos now with um, some motivational quotes that will hopefully help you get through your academic journey. And the motivational quote of the day that I'm gonna pick that actually resonates with me um, especially a lot this year. And the quote that I'm gonna read today is by Les Brown, who is the former House of Representatives for Ohio. And he states that, accept responsibility for your life, know that it is you who will get you where you want to go and no one else. And with that quote being said, I wanna say thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and watch out for my future videos, all right? All right, goodbye all.